what is going on boys and girls of youtube second day back at it with the hitting i think second day back at it hitting masters we are 2000 mmr we had two losses yesterday it was sad i watched that video the hun bats game was nuts but it was sad saw a bunch of the comments below asking for solo lane game boys and i haven't played solo lane yet in this series so play some solo so i queued solo and adc today i still got jungle no just kidding i got i got solo pick let's jump into the picks and bands make sure you're subscribed to the channel make sure you already you know you like this video and I don't want you to miss anything, so let's get into this. Now, I am top pick in the solo role. Realistically, we're looking at like Cthulhu would be annoying, but I don't think people are going to play a lot of Cthulhu. And then outside of that, it's kind of what are they going to play? Like, what, what will we actually see? Seen a lot of King Arthur lately. A lot, a lot of King Arthur lately. So it's between that and Ardeo. I think I want to ban the King Arthur because I don't plan on playing King Arthur. So I'm going to do that. You weekend guys kind of cringe. The guy who wasn't spoken to called me cringe. Okay. I don't like him. He accused me of stream sniping. <laughs> the vod all right so they got some bands then top pick nemesis i wanted to play Valona anyway so this works out it has a good counterplay to nemesis now you're still gonna get you know if you're getting ganked and you're getting focused by a nemo it's gonna hurt you're gonna die pretty quick but in the event that you're just poking out you're 1v1ing it's not a full commit to you you actually have a decent matchup at a nemesis because of your disarm you can play your disarm into that nem auto attack damage during her downtime and cause her to pretty much do nothing if you're already dead lol you are hilarious so yeah just so you guys know if you never watched my stream and you've ever watched a, a vod or anything where i'm like mm, this is kind of weird what i'll do is if anything ever feels off which you know when you play the game for 10 years you gotta tell what people are playing out of their element it's really really obvious actually you'd, you'd be surprised and everything starts to feel weird like they're in the perfect spot all the time and they perfectly counter gank everything and they know where you are all the time well in my case whenever i have friends play against me they tell me <laughs> so i find out how often it really does happen where people are stream sniping and ghosting and have my stream up to get an advantage but i don't ever call people out like say this guy's definitely doing it unless i first check my viewer list and the same in-game name is in my viewer list which means you're watching my stream so this guy got mad for whatever reason nobody even talked to him and he just started crying uh said he accused him of stream sniping i don't accuse anybody when i have proof i pull it up and i show everybody so it's a little weird now if i ever say that's it weird how he's there that's crazy how he's there i'm not saying he's stream sniping I'm saying crazy positioning for a gold player. And then when it happens over and over and over again, I tend to look and see if someone happens to be in the chat. And usually they are, oddly enough. Uh, in fact, two days ago, I found a aimbotter, <laughs> which was so weird. I was playing under streamer mode, so they didn't know it was me and they were aimbotting. So it happens. If you guys ever run into it, it happens. It's not super common, but it is a thing that happens. So that being said, let's jump into this game. We've got Uller, Bacchus, Nemesis, Shiva, and Rama. Their team comps can be kind of annoying. It's Shiva solo. I'm assuming their gank potential between the Nem and the Shiva is actually really high on me. So I need to play smart. And then we have Fenrir, Scotty, Thoth, and Kepri. I like our team comp. I haven't played with Athos since he was nerfed. So we'll see how that goes. The Scotty's a little iffy for me. The Scotty is super iffy for me. Scotty just hasn't been performing well. So for the solo lane, we are looking at Death's Toll for sure. And then we'll probably build right into our uh, Berserker Shield. To get some defense online. And I'm just going to stack up a bunch of health potions because there's nothing else to really do with that. And then you can go TP, you can go beads, you can go blink. You can really go into whatever active works for you. I'm about to be dealing with a Shiva and a Nemesis. <clears throat> and a Bach is potentially rotating. I don't think I want to go TP. I want to be able to have actives for the team fight. And then outside of that it's do i need a heavenly do i want a horrific do i want you know blink or this or that i'm gonna want blink for sure but i don't really want to go it yet so i'm just gonna go beads for now and try to use that to get away from nemesis and everyone else that might be trying to gank me that'll just have a little bit more survivability we eat a nems uh, alt into a two you're really slow pop the beads get out dip if our, if our alt's down <clears throat> uh, that's weird i sorry try to not cough into my mic and somehow my go xlr app is uh not open there we go fixed fix 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 ba, 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 da, ba. all right so builds all look traditional for my team blue my study's going to the ability build which is fine problem here is shiva can cancel my two so there's a good chance i have to level my three if this guy's smart like if he's at all canceling my two cast i'm gonna have to level my three slam in there and we should be go good to go 
try to get to this wave so we can stack up our autos with our two i don't think we're gonna make it we are not i'm gonna pre-pop a health potion here all right are we gonna bully him pretty hard he's probably dead here Build our passive up. Not an issue. Should die. Easy play. <clears throat> so he just didn't really trust. First of all, he didn't cancel out my two. He leveled the wrong ability, in my opinion. He should have taken his pull, which would have canceled my two and lowered my clear a bit. But he can't full aggress into the wave right there. Bologna has a really good level two. You have quick clear. And it's just super risky for you to be playing like that. And I get to keep bullying him out. Which is scary for him. Should actually get out of uh, Might be able to get out of this. Crazy, dude. I knew it was going to happen. It, it tends to happen to me every time I play any other side lanes. I get hard focused, but the fact that we get out of that gank for free is kind of glorious. Uh, I'm going to let my health tick up. I'm going to let this wave go into the tower. We lost pressure because of them, and we're just going to let it go. Get this wave cleared out. Heal up a bit with our death toll. And we should be good to go. <clears throat> he's going to heal up pretty quick too. Yeah, he's full health. He died. I don't think he got his tier 2 item. He didn't. He's also very, very squishy. So we have a good trade into him. He's going to put a bully him here. Oh, yeah. Unless he has his dash. I think he's dead. Yeah, he's in a predicament. He's trying to trade too much without having any defense. And it's getting him killed. He's going to his blue right now, but I don't even know if he could do it. <clears throat> Unless his Nem is there. I'll clear this wave and then I'll go for my blue buff since my jungler doesn't seem to know what he's doing. He is his blue, so the Nem dropped it for him. Since he's stuck on his tower, though, it's fine. I don't want to get caught up trying to fight him too much. I want to make sure I'm focusing on my farm. My backs were invaded by the Nem too. That's crazy. It's wild because my other lanes are losing even though the jungler hasn't affected them yet. Their enemy jungler and my jungler is kind of able to do whatever he wants. All right. We got our ult already. We might go for a kill here. Okay. If he allows us. If he stayed and then back, that's what we'll do. Uh, I think we're good. Be careful. All right. We're going to go for the totem now. There's another death. That's crazy. I don't care, bro. I queued ranked to play ranked. I don't care. <laughs> He's mad because an ability was missed. Oh no. This is the one problem with playing side lanes. Even, I mean, same with playing jungle. You play jungle, your side lanes act like this. Uh, you play a side lane and your other side lanes act like this, and it's kind of awkward. Know your enemy. Oh, he's playing up. He's going to hit five here. He should at least. Well, we'll see if we can get pressure him out first. There's his knockup. I'm actually not too worried about this. Oh, he got me with the creeps. Unfortunate. I needed a back. He was sitting on tier two item. If I'm sitting on my item, we're good. I tried to go for it. I probably could have waited till the very last tick of his ult to go for my defense. Or I could have ulted earlier to just take less defense or damage in general. Because your ultimate makes you tanky. If you didn't know, you get protections. Uh, and you get more power. So fighting it, it's really, really strong. Just a little overestimation on the damage that Ashiva gets the cast. Let's see. What did his ult do? His ult did most of his damage there. Yeah, it, I mean, just just 300 damage from his ult. No big deal. We have a Berserk Shield. We should out-trade him. We actually could probably bait him. And I think I may go into a Toxic Blade next. My ult's up pretty soon, too, which is good. We'll disarm him right away. I don't think he realizes how tanky I am now. Yup. A little fast, which is fine. My ult's up soon. They told me to be careful left, which means the Nem might be coming out of the jungle. And he's playing up with no health, so it's probably what it is. And that's fine. I'm gonna start leveling my three, like I said, so I have better disarm. He's going for his blue. His blue's a little bit before mine, so we can keep that timer. Grab all this, just slow clear. I'm not gonna use any abilities since I have my two procs. So we'll just cleave it down. Like to go get my blue. His ult's definitely gonna be back up. I think I can kill him though. That's the thing. We're going to play up and bully him. Just poke at him as much as possible. I don't know that he'll play off this tower. 
We'll see. Rewarded. Interesting. Interesting take there, buddy. Remember, he has his dash, so we got to catch him on his dash. We want to try to kill him. Hit me. Okay. I don't. I don't know what that was. We're just gonna heal off his wave now. Oh, I jumped too early. Oh, we got him. We're good. He can all this all day. It doesn't make a difference. That's free. We get the beads early. I pre his knock up in case he actually landed it. He's just never going to be able to out trade me in a straight fight. My team actually won a fight over there. Nice job, guys. Nice job, gamers. So my blue is going to be on a like a half timer. So when mine is up, his will be halfway through because I'm going to drop it here. And I do need to back before I fight him again. Shiva players who just build these damage builds just get clapped. They just don't understand. You need defense to play this lane. You don't need it. If you're really, really comfortable with your matchups, you'll be fine. But you can't just Zerg run at people without defense. It makes you look stupid. Where did he go? So he's building a little bit of defense now. He's learning. But I think we'll go into Toxic Blade and we'll just trade him. Okay. He'll try to heal in his ult and he won't be able to heal. It'll be funny. <clears throat> Here we go. We're fine with him getting a totem since this is his first one in a while. Yeah, we just want to back. Come on and hit me. <clears throat> since we have a tier two item, we want to back. He's coming underneath. He's probably warding. And Toxic Blade it is because I want anti-heal. And I think I could win the trade with just Berserkers. And after this, we'll look at more hybrid items. Which Blade will be decent into the Nemesis. And it'll affect the Ool a teeny bit. Shoguns will be very good for any magic damage they have. And then just stacking up some more Fizz. Stone Cutting would be pretty useful here, actually. But since he went Soul Eater, that's why I wanted to go Toxic Blade. We end up missing two creeps. I'm not going to use anything here. They're fighting still. Nice. That's a good turn. Is he going to die this? I think we just kill her. Easy. Good job by the Kepri to listen since I said I was coming. Notice how even when you get out rotated, as long as you rotate, that's all that matters. So we wanted to get in there and affect the game, affect the team fight. I could probably bully out this Nem fairly easily right now if I catch her back here. She's more than likely speed coming up. I think blue's coming up. I should have gone to blue instead of doing this. Because I believe that Nem is coming. I'm going to try to get this. He outsecures me though. They okay, were good. Nice. I don't know where he is. I figured he would be coming right now. We have a huge wave over here in left. I don't really want to miss. <sighs> Come here, creeps. No, 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 no. Nice. That's fine. Yay. We got all the creeps. Surprising. Usually they troll me. So our blue is up too. I don't want to spend too much time messing around on this side of the map. We just have a huge lead on this guy. He'll more than likely look to pull me. Yep. And we don't care about that. We're just going to go back to farming. As long as we control the farm, we should be able to win the game. Control totems. We have basically a two full level two. I think two full level lead. Cause he just hit nine right there off that wave, and we'll go grab our blue. He might contest this. It'd be kind of sketchy for him though, cause we could kill him even through his ult. And we have a huge item pickup with Toxic Blade. Did he buy anything? So always paying attention to his items. Looks like he might be going into Glad Shield or Shifters. I don't. I don't really know. Eh, we're going to contest them. We're not going to give them any free farm. Dude, we just trade super hard on this guy. We're just going to heal off the wave. We really just don't care. Notice how I'm using the creeps to kill this guy, and then I'm using my block stacks. Easy plays, easy life. It's just that easy sometimes. Use the creeps to block the autos once they have to go into full auto attack mode. And when you have a lead, just up down, use that ultimate for defense, for trading, and GG, you win. And since the jungler's dead, since the, the solo just died, he's probably going to come back. He's probably going to TP, but I'm going to try to clear this. Yep, there he is. This is risky, but I don't care. Hit me. Right lane. 
I know this all. I'm just dipping. I'm just backing. My dude can fight him all he wants. He wins that trade. My jungler has a two-level lead on their solo, so he's got free free reign to do what he wants. We have our Toxic Blade. So we're going to take that. They don't really have any magical. Oh, wait, they're full fizz. Okay, so they are full physical damage. So we are not going to go into Shogun's like I was talking about. I wasn't really paying attention. Shogun's is what you'd want to go if they have magic. They have a Bacchus. So I'm not going to build magic defense. I'm going to go Witchblade um, as my next item. It's going to give us a little bit of protections. And then we'll probably go heavy physical defense like a Nemean even after the nerf. Still pretty useful. Or maybe we'll just go right for a Midgardian. The Midgardian will affect them a lot. Uh, they have double auto, three auto attack odds. So mid guardian, it won't, it'll won't stack with the witch blade, but it'll just give us the ranged uh, protection for when we are getting hit by two ADCs. I'm not sure if that's what I want. I kind of want to min max, and that won't be min maxing. Stone cutting will definitely be on my list. Sovereignty might be what I go into if my support doesn't have sovereignty. He doesn't. He has a breastplate. Just gotta gotta decide. What the heck? I don't really know what this guy's doing. I think he thought he was going to win the trade. Got a troll. Does he live? Oof. Unfortunate, because he gives a lot of farm to my Shiva right there. I think my Shiva just got two levels off that kill. So like diving a low level person and giving them kills is really stupid. It's unnecessary. It just gives them farm they shouldn't have. If he doesn't go Sob, I might end up grabbing a Sob. Sob will make me unkillable. Having that amount of defense rather than building damage when you have a lead is really where you kind of pull ahead of everybody. No the ward down. Enemy. Blue's coming up. I'm going to clear this next wave and go for blue. Okay. Yeah. All right. I don't know what that guy's doing at all. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they had a lead. That My dual is getting clobbered and then he's doing that. That's weird. He's two and two. I think he's mad. I think he's raging. Probably at their jungler. I'm Shiva. We get a free blue buff. We're basically four levels up on him. Kind of sad. Sad day. For him, not for me. Not for me. I love Bologna right now in this meta. It's just hyper aggressive into a lot of these picks that tend to just bully by not even playing the game. Is he going to walk up? I think he's going to walk up because he doesn't know where I am. Box stacks are OP. Just using our passive here. <laughs> really just not worried about it. All right, if he wants to poke out, that's fine. Oh, he turned back. Crazy. This is bad. Oh, if the jungler wasn't there. Oh, wait. I have one health. I multi beads. No, he blinked too. M all blink. Why would you spam taunt when you just use that much to kill me? <laughs> oh, that's weird. All right. So we're good there. I could go into the stone cutting since we're bullying so hard. But like I said, the sob is just going to be beefy. He's going to sob now. So I'm not going to build the sob. Could go into contagion. The anti heal will stack, but they don't have that much healing. Kind of all over the place. What do we want? What will actually feel good? Are they building any crit? The Nem is going into crit for some... Okay, they're going double crit, so I'm going Spectral. So you see, he, this is building into a Rage or a Deathbringer, and this is building into the Wind Demon. Um, so we're definitely going to just build defense. Let it be. Take our dub. Take our dub. Sadly, we gave Shiva a little bit of farm there, because he got the free farm for a bit. Uh, Yeah, probably. It's so weird how people in Smite can be getting absolutely stompered and then they're just like, yeah, I'm going to throw taunts around. <laughs> 1v2'd you already, bro. You can't come back from that. All right, we'll clear one more wave. I'm going to call that he's missing. I can't TP over there and he can TP to mid or to right, which is kind of sketchy. But my team should be okay. It'd be better if they had wards. There we go. Nice. And we're just focused on getting our clear. Oh, it blows up. Nice. We don't actually want to do this. We want to contest him. We want to fight him. Yeah, that was interesting. 
I don't really know what he's looking for right now. He can't out trade me, which is why I just don't understand what's going on. He wants to win a trade, but it can't happen. Okay, this guy just kind of handed me a free kill, maybe? Uh, no follow up from the boys. This is a weird engagement. I'm going to take his speed since he taunted me. If he hadn't taunted me, I probably wouldn't even have been looking for this. But, you know, you want to you wanna play games. You're going to catch hands, buddy. Nice job. My, my team is actually kind of cracked. Like they're actually beasting on this place. It's nice. Fire is an okay call. Should be pretty safe. I don't know where their Shiva is, but she, he's level 14 and he's kind of irrelevant. Yeah, he's just kind of pushing. I'm here, buddies. I'm here. This is going to take a while. Oh, he's here. This is too risky. I don't know why he pulled that. That was weird. Uh, Scotty just randomly in the mid lane dies for no reason. That's questionable. Then you're healing up a bit. If he dashes into this Kepri, we're going to help him. If he doesn't, we need to defend the fire. They'll probably go to it. They're smart. So we have Spectral in line. And now, like I said, I'm probably just going to go into. I'm able to do a lot of damage. I might look for a building into a Kins. I think we're going to build into Kins. Usually, I would go into Stone Cutting or something here if I want to damage, but the Kins into their team should kind of stomp. They they just they don't do damage to me. The fights will be very long. Nice. I'll look for this guy to just be out of position. Oh, okay. <laughs> Enemy team surrendered. Kind of weird to taunt and then, uh, you know do that but okay so that's soul lane that's my first soul lane game in a while um i think in like two patches i think maybe three patches i haven't played much soul lane at all but bologna feels fantastic especially when you run bologna into these people building these damage starts most people building damage starts kind of get bullied that's why i banned out king arthur where people tend to go a little more defense and play stupid rama is scum i mean it is what it is uh gg <laughs> we ended up doing 14k damage in that short match Top damage in the whole game out of a solo laner. And that's where I have problems with this game. That lane should not be as easy as it is. You should not be as unkillable as you are. And you should not do as much damage as you do. It is not okay. I don't like it. I don't think it's the way the game should be played. I kind of hope we see some major changes coming in the midseason patch. Which is literally in like two months or something like that. Uh, supposed to be getting map changes in the next patch. I have no help. No no expectations. Don't know if you guys have seen. There's like six or seven new bugs in Smite. Ymir wall's not working. Naja passive causing insane FPS drops. Danza Burra ult. You can run it into, into towers and not blow up and then turn around. Do instant 180s. Um, spectator is bugged. Or not spectator, sorry. Streamer mode is bugged and not working at all. And then yesterday they dropped a news announcement saying servers are fixed. They put a push an update and then literally within 10 minutes of that that news update being pushed to me i had 250 ping in a match and a bunch of other people did too so i don't know what's going on with high res get your shit together because i'm out here clapping kids in the soul lane it's too too easy and I, I want the game change please i hope you guys you know are still enjoying the game but you guys are hoping for a change too hopefully hopefully a little kiss me hopefully you guys like the video Please hit the like button if you did. Please subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all in the video later tomorrow, the next day, the next day, and the next day.